Well, hello there. You guys know where we are? Up in the mountains again. And uh, right now we are getting ready to go camp up in the mountains over here. Ready for rifle elk season. The guys, my dad, my uncles, my cousin, my brother, still getting their packs ready. And uh, today is the day before opener, or the night before opener. Tomorrow's opener. Hopefully we can get some elk, you know? You can see that? It's cold. See this? Puddles and puddles of water. Alright. Working our way to our backcountry spot right now. I think it's around 7.20, 7.15. And we're just working our way over there. Alright. We are done with camp. Show you guys. Right down here. Here's camp. Here's our tent. So we can go to bed. See you guys in the morning. Alright guys, the opening morning is almost over. It is 8.08 .08 a.m. So I basically sat here for the past hour. Sun is coming up. Didn't see anything in these uh, these open mountains. So I'm gonna work my way up to this road up here and just kinda explore it. I'm just gonna go up here and See what we can find. I have a feeling today's gonna be hot. It's only like 8.15 and I can already feel the sun heat, man. It is a beautiful morning up here. Still working my way up to the road. Haven't seen a single animal yet. Alright, I'm gonna put the camera away and get up there. Made it to the road. Came from down there. Let's see if I can't see anything. I am so hot right now. My gloves, just about to take them off too, but I had to turn on the camera just to update you guys. So, work my way over here. Uh, talk to you guys when I get over here guys I made it over to the hill there's something up there it's a white tail alright went 
over this little hill. I saw one white tail doe. And so I'm gonna work backtrack this way and go over this way. Because there's nothing in the opens right now except that doe I saw. I worked I worked one of these ridges, cut to the road, came over here. Now I gotta go back over there. So my brother was down there. We came together. I don't know where he went. So where are the elk? Up there? Down there? Back here? I have no idea. Let's go and find them. Alright guys, so I've never asked really verbally asked you guys to do this. But if you're interested in my like staying updated, more updated with me, you guys should go follow me on a on Instagram. I have my Instagram link in the description. And so I'm taking advantage of Instagram's uh, story thing, kind of like Snapchat. And what I do is if I'm hunting and have service like I do right now, uh, I'll give you guys constant updates like this. I can tap it. You guys see? It's like there. And then there. Like, I'll, I will give you guys like constant updates throughout the day. So like maybe hourly updates, who knows. But by the time you see this video, uh, the story's already gone. But just a heads up, if you guys are interested in staying, like I guess, semi-live updated with me, go follow me on Instagram. But with that being said, I gotta get walking again. <laughs> How cool was that? I was just walking. I came by right here and I walked. As soon as I popped out right here, I saw two of them. That's probably like 35 yards. And then I thought they saw me because I came down pretty fast, pretty loud too. And then I guess they see me, so I scooted this way. So I, I was blocked by this little pine tree right here. Got out the camera. And that doe, she looked at me like, I don't know how many times. She just didn't know what I was. Because every time I did, my camera was right here on my chest. So I would, I was recording like this. So she never saw my face. So I took out my phone, did an update on my Instagram uh, story. And I did a little bit of fussing because I didn't really care anymore. And then she finally saw that I wasn't like natural. She snorted, she took off. She's up right here. First off, apologize if there's wind. Pretty windy right here. I, I've hiked for the past an hour and a half, two hours. I haven't seen anything uh, after those two does. So I got out to this clearing right here. I'm gonna eat and just watch this clearing for now, and then uh, we'll see how it goes. So I'm gonna eat, fuel up real quick. Get a break with this wind. I literally 
literally sat down for like seven, eight minutes. And I am freezing, man. So, gotta get back walking. Uh, gotta put my gloves on. My hands are frozen. Uh, I'm just gonna walk over here and then uh, see if I see anything open. If not, then I have no idea where to go. Pack you guys up and then we're off. I legit don't even know where to go anymore. I just walked this road right here. Walked this road right here. Went all the way to where it ended. Came back. So, um, I think I'm gonna work up this road right here. Go up there and just see if I can get a vantage point and just look wherever, because I am absolutely done of walking. This is elk hunting, man, hit or miss. And right now it's a miss. I haven't even seen sign, like sign of elk, like tracks, waste. I don't know, I haven't seen anything that says that elk are here. So we might even turn this elk hunt into a bear hunt. Which is probably not likely either. So this might just be a plain old boring vlog. No clue. I thought my polka dotted umbrella was going to bring me luck, but we didn't get to use it because it didn't rain. Forecast said it was going to rain. So, alright, let's go. I am so tired. Walked on this ridge all the way over here. And uh, right now, I think it's like 1.30. I think, I think so, around that time. I'm going to work up here, go around, and then go back to camp because I am pretty exhausted. I think today I've seen three deer. That's about it. And I, oh yeah, I bumped a, bumped like five rough grouse. But who cares, right? Because I can't, I can't seem to hit a grouse anyway. So just gonna go over here and uh, wish for the best of luck. I can literally just lay down right now and go to sleep but I'm not here to sleep I'm here to make an elk go to sleep <laughs> just see this background there's just so much ground like I haven't I probably walked probably a couple miles today and I've just compared to what we have here it's just a little bit of how much ground we can cover Gotta love public land, man. It's just vast amounts of land that any anybody, including you, can enjoy. So I'm just gonna rest up real quick, work my way, loop around, go check the other side and see if there's elk. And then I might just sit and either glass this side or the other side, wait for it to get dust, see if any elk wants to play the hide and seek game. Dude, I'm like half looking for elk, half looking for black bears now. Because I just don't know where the elk are. It seems like it would be like a generic YouTube or not YouTube movie or DVD where you just come right here and you just glass and elk are just like right there. But this isn't this isn't TV. This is public land hunting. It doesn't help that the majority of these trees are yellow too. It just makes it that much harder. Alright, I just wanted to come down here, check this side. I'm gonna go up this little hill, or my way back down. I just worked around this hill, or this mountain, or looped around, and I am back to the same opening area I was earlier. It's just now that I'm, now I am way down here. I was way up there earlier. Where to go, guys? Where to go? All right. I'm gonna go way down this uh, to this 
a road down here and just make my way to camp. It's around 2.15 right now. It's getting dark. It's gonna rain overcast. So let's go down here and hunt on the way back to camp. You guys, you guys tired of me just vlogging on the road all the time? I got pretty tired of walking on the road. Feels good to finally be back on mountainous ground. Oh man, it just got thick real quick. I wish like right now, I would just be walking and then there's just like a big 400 class bull that just walks. Like he just bumps out and he just like stands over there broadside looking at me, you know, and let him have the hammer. But too bad these hunts don't go according to how your brain wants it to happen. Dang it. Oh, I'll go over here. I gotta turn you guys off. I don't want to scratch my gun anymore. What the crap is this? Are you kidding me? <sighs> ha, made it. Only got slapped in the face a couple times. What the? Look how clear this one is. I came through that. I think it's, I think it's a sign that I need to go back to camp. Sugar tastes so good right now. As much as sugar tastes good, remember you always gotta drink some clean water. I knew poke up would come in handy. It's raining. Look how, co look how colorful my head is. <laughs> but going back to camp. Starting to rain, getting dark soon. Gotta love umbrellas. So, just taking a walk up this mountain for absolutely no reason. I'm just kidding. I'm I came up here to test how light it is without my backpack. With that being said, made it back to the camp and uh, got in here a little late yesterday, so couldn't really show you guys anything. So, nothing too spectacular. I mean. Simple backcountry living. So here we got my tent covered with a tarp. This is my uncle, my cousin's tent with a tarp. So that's my cousin, my brother. Simple as that. So just chilling at camp. And uh, right here where we hunt elk in this spot, this area in particular, I'm super glad I have service so I'm able to. Like I told you guys earlier, I'm able to update my Instagram, Snapchat, whatever. And uh, right now, just keeping up with you guys. I read all the comments. I want to give you guys a big thanks for all the positive feedback. I'm surprised you guys even watch my videos, but... Wow, I'm actually surprised. You guys are actually enjoying the vlogs. This is a vlog of me recording the other vlogs, so... Vlogception? I don't even think that's gonna make sense, but yeah, I'm just doing that. I need to charge my phone. It is at 11%. 4G right here. Can you believe that? 30. how well these things work.
wood so we can put some meat over the fire and eat dinner. It's pretty dark. So I'll do this fast before I get stranded alone. Dinner, ramen, and some quote unquote good deer meat. <laughs>